Hi and welcome to Rose Red Homestead. Today's video is all about emergency preparedness and self-reliance. We are going to introduce you to our new portable power station. Sometimes these are called solar generators. Um, it is just this great big piece of equipment that weighs 60 pounds. Closer to 75. Closer to 70. Uh, yeah. That is, uh, we can take camping with this or we can use right here in the house in times of um, power outages, which actually happens here more than any other place we have ever lived. Uh, we have been a long time coming to the decision to get one of these. And in fact, I'm gonna start at the beginning and tell you a little story about how we finally got here. About five years ago, I bought one of these Gold Zero Yetis that has um, 150, it's the 150, so it holds about 150 watt hours of power when it's fully charged and we can we can charge this by plugging it into the wall outlet or we could also charge it with uh, solar if we had the right cords and equipment which did not come with this and i've used this several times it's been very convenient uh, with with my uh, charging cable on my phone we can there are a couple of uh, bluetooth ports right here where we can charge phones. It has one regular electrical outlet and other things. It's been a little bit convenient. I bought um, these little lights and um, they will string together because the cord unwraps and you can string one to another in a daisy chain all around the house and I was quite taken with that idea except that these darn things are about $45 and so I bought two and then that was the end of that. Um, but I have in power outages been able to run my computer and have light to do it with these two little lights daisy chained together. So this was kind of our first introduction to the possibility of a, a portable power source and I knew that there were a lot more um, possibilities out there but we just never got around to it. So about six months ago we bought our first portable power station. Not this brand. It, it was an EcoFlow Delta Max, about the same price as this. This is about $1,900 and um, about 2,000 watt hours on that one. This one is 2,048 watt hours. The, this is a Blue Eddy. And, um, and so we tried it out once and we charged it up, kept it in the house ready for a power outage. And one day we looked at it and it had flatlined. The screen was just flat. We couldn't get it to charge at the wall outlet or with solar or with anything. And so Jim called the company and um, they wanted to know what the serial number was first and foremost. And then they sent us some paperwork <clears throat> to fill out or we could download that. So we did, it was quite a bit of paperwork. And so we submitted that and that wasn't quite enough. They wanted us to do a video uh, showing the screen and to see what the matter was, to see if they could diagnose it. They couldn't. And so they sent us a um, shipping label and asked us to go ahead and send it in. All of this was taking quite a bit of time. And you know, <clears throat> we get the fact that when things are, are mass manufactured, things can go wrong. You can get a lemon once in a while. And it was a little bit frustrating, but it was, it was okay. We were willing to just go through the process. And so after several days, they contacted uh, Jim to say that yes indeed it was a faulty unit and they were going to send us a new one. So uh, we waited for that package for several days and when it arrived and we opened it up, it wasn't new. It was a refurbished unit and on the bottom of the unit where the serial number was, we see it saw the tool marks where they had scraped that label off, uh, the label or the metal plate, whatever it was, they had scraped that off. It didn't come with a serial number. And we knew right away that that would not do because if something went wrong with that one, the first thing they wanted was a serial number. And if we didn't have a serial number, we would have been up the creek without a paddle. And so Jim said, um, we just want our money back. And they said, well, 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 wait a minute. We will give you half your money back. We'll give you $1,000 back. And, um, and then you can just work with that unit. And we said no, it was a new unit. We wanted it replaced with a new unit. And so we were interested in just getting our money back. And at this thing time, things started to get just a little bit dicey. And so um, they tried several other um, ways to try to convince us to take that $1,000 and keep the unit. 
and we said no and the shipping label arrived and we just shipped it back to them and they did give us a full refund which we appreciated very much but by then we were pretty disgusted with the customer service that we got and felt like they had tried to take advantage of us by sending us a refurbished uh, model. Anyway, I went on Amazon because we purchased it through Amazon at their store and I left a review and I wasn't snarky, I just told the truth just like I'm telling it to you and gave them one star. And then we started really getting hit hard with emails. They emailed Jim, they emailed me. We're a small family company, we want to make this right, what can we do to make this right? Well, they had their opportunity to make it right. And we were satisfied with the refund and we kept telling them, we're satisfied, everything's okay, you refunded our money, we're good. Well, can you please um, revise your rating then on Amazon? And I said, no, I'm not going to do that because that is exactly what happened. And um, so then, after several emails to both of us, they sent Jim an, another email and said, we will give you $100 if you will change your rating. And we said, no. And they did that two or three times and finally Jim just said, we are satisfied with the way it is right now. The rating is going to stand. Do not contact us anymore. So we were quite disappointed because I was impressed with the product when it was functioning. I thought we had a, a really nice machine and I'm sure that they do, according to the reviews, most everyone is really satisfied with their product. So it was just kind of a sad situation where um, customer service came between um, our, our, our good review of a product. So that was too bad. Anyway, we took that money and I did more research and we discovered the Blue Eddy, which I wish we would have bought in the first place. This Blue Eddy, which is about the same price, had more watt hours available to us, 2,048 watt hours, once it is fully charged. And it is so versatile. We love this machine. We've taken it camping with us once, my goodness, with this, this is a 30 amp receptacle right here. We can plug our, our trailer, our um, toy hauler into this. It will run our trailer, including our air conditioner. So that was really cool to us. I can charge my phone by just putting it on the top. Is this the on button? Yeah, it's the on button. Is it on? There it is, okay, it'll initiate. Okay, so it's showing 100% power. I need to turn DC on. On. Okay, now the DC is on. Now, watch this. This is just so cool. So, at night I could just put my phone like this. And it is charging. Is that just the coolest thing ever? Okay, there we go. Okay. That's charging. Is 80, that it just... says 87%. Yeah, I know. My phone battery is really okay. wonderful. It lasts a long time. So that is just the coolest thing. And then it has all of these plugs that we can do. Um, it has input for solar. And um, we took this with us on our grand tent camping adventure, which I've reported on our other um, YouTube channel. <laughs> disaster. It was just a disaster. The Bluetti was the best thing about the entire thing. We took our solar panels and um, hooked it up to the solar. We made a little array and um, I connected them in a series and then I have 30 foot extension cables and we were able to use it and it just worked like a charm. And um, I've released a video on doing that as well. And I'm, I'm gonna put the links to those two videos on our other channel in case you want to check those out. We have four 100 watt solar panels that we use and at our camping trip in um, at mid midday about maybe one o'clock between one and two o'clock uh, you can read the input on the screen and it was inputting 385 watts and for a series connection that's almost full uh, almost way up there to all 400 watts coming in so we were really pleased and it clouded over and we had a little bit of rain. Later in the day, with completely overcast skies, we were still getting just under 100, uh, just under 200 uh, watts coming in. So this is a, a great thing. We feel like this has application for us, not just running our trailer if we want to boondock someplace or uh, at camp, but most certainly here at home, 
where we um, will need power off grid. If things go down and stay down for a long time, this has enough watt hours available that I can run my refrigerator, I can run my washing machine. It will run anything I have in this house, just not all at the same time. When I try to run my blow dryer on this little goal zero, it won't even begin to turn on. It draws way too much wattage in order to do that. Now, I could be very technical in terms of the volts and the amps and the watts and the watt hours and all of that stuff. The great thing about this Blue Eddy is you don't have to know all the technical stuff. This is plug and play. And all you need to do is read the instructions. The instructions are very clear. And then learn how to operate this screen. And um, for inputting power, here is this. The transformer. Wall. You know, it's, the, it's a big transformer. And you plug this into the wall and this whole thing then charges in about, in about an hour, Jim. Fully charged from zero, I think, was five to six hours. Oh, okay. Um, our, our solar panels charge it faster than that. Um, but you can input power back here with solar, with your car battery. And um, this, to me, is so exciting about this. And our other one didn't have that. We can buy extension batteries. And uh, the extension batteries are a little bit more than half the price of this, but it doubles the power. Now, those little battery um, packs can't, they can't, they're not standalone like this, blue, this part is. But as an add-on, it doubles the power. And we can add two and just check, um, connect those together. There are two. We can put two right here. And we can stack them up on top or put them on the bottom and um, really extend the amount of watt hours that we have. So it just depends on where you want to put your money. We have a propane generator it's portable but we have that one directly wired into the house and so we've got to pick four rooms that we could um, put on that uh, generator wiring uh, plus the washing machine and, and the refrigerator washing machine dryer and refrigerator yeah yeah okay i don't know about the dryer but anyway with this if we do run into a power outage and we want to have a different room operational, we can just carry this and put it in that room. And then, of course, the really good thing is that we can charge this up with solar, which is completely free. Now, I want to tell you one quick thing about the solar panels that come with these portable power stations. Blue Eddy and Jackery, which is another big name in these, they all make their own um, unique solar arrays. And they're encased in really nice, colorful plastic and the wiring is already done behind it. So all you have to do is just insert it and it works great for you. And um, those are very tempting to get because they're just so easy. But I want to tell you that um, it is also very easy to buy just regular solar panels. And if you look at that other video from our other channel, where we set up our solar array at camp, you'll see that ours are just the regular 100 watt solar panels, just plain. And they have uh, connectors on the back that you can um, connect. And, and I, I connected those in a series. And now that we've done it and understand how to do it and have practiced a couple of times, we can probably set that solar array up in under half an hour, um, maybe even about 20 minutes. It will go pretty fast next time we do it. Um, and we paid the $99 a piece for those, so that's just about a dollar per watt. The fancy ones that you get from these companies that match the colors, the Jackery ones are all in orange plastic and these are in blue plastic are two and a half to three times as expensive as just buying the plain Jane ones. So of course we opted to go the less expensive way and we're so pleased that we did. Um, it may not be quite as fast setting up, but the money we saved is more than worth it. Now, as I mentioned, this Goal Zero did not come with any kind of a solar cord that I could use, but now what I can do if we are out someplace and I'm using this to charge up some things and this to charge up some things, 
I can take the, the wall connector and plug it right here. Right here. Am I close, Jim? Plug it right here, just as if it was plugged right into the wall. And so I can charge this one using this one. <laughs> Another thing that we tried out in our camp, and that will also be just great for um, off-grid light situations in emergencies, I got a couple of these work lights, and um, they, uh, you recharge them, they're rechargeable, rather than batteries, which is a big plus as far as I am concerned. And this comes with a USB charge cord, and I can plug that right into here to recharge as well. And look at these things, look how bright this thing is. So this is very, very bright. And it has different settings. I can't see how bright it is. Okay. There you go. All right. So it yeah. has three levels of bright, and then it has the emergency blue and red. And so this lit up our whole tent when we were at camp. And I have two of them. So anyway, I'm loving this. I am just loving this. We're so thrilled with it. And we're going to continue using it. And as we learn more applications, we will share those with you as well. Now, um, I have this all up on our, um, and I don't recommend buying these. These are really expensive for what you get, and this is five years old. So I'm not putting this one on our Amazon store. Um, I, am, I have put this on along with the extra battery pack and all of the things that we use to put together our solar array, including our solar panels and a little bracket that will set them at whatever angle you need, plus some um, extension cables so that we could um, have 30 feet of wiggle room once it was connected to the array. Just in case you want to check things out, uh, we have it there. There are lots of sources where you can go to buy these things, but we got ours through Amazon, so they're on our Amazon store. So I thought you might enjoy hearing um, and being introduced to our new portable power station, which we absolutely love. And the best thing about it is that it is rechargeable through solar. And we have learned to do solar like we never have before. So that was good for us too. So thank you for being with us and we will see you at our next video.